Hello, Dr. Vicki Rackner here. Listen, I just wanted to thank you for investing the time to take a look at this tutorial about how to get in front of physician prospects in the next 28 days. I appreciate all of your kind comments and questions and observations. One of the most frequently asked questions I get though is, okay, I've decided I wanna work in the medical market. How do I get started? I just wanted to create this brief video for you to give you an idea. The short answer is you begin where you are. The process of acquiring physician clients is like ascending a steep cliff. This is really an exercise in creative problem solving. The relationships that you formed over your careers are like the crevices into which your hands and your feet get placed. The richer your network and your relationship building skills, the more quickly you will ascend. However, even novices can master this ascent. Let me give you a case study to show you how. I'd like to introduce you to Michael. He was one of the first people to sign up for the Power Prospecting program. The single word that would describe Michael is new. He was new to the financial services industry. He was new to town and had virtually no local network. In the medical market, what you want to do is add links in the chain of trust. You want to start with people who already know, like, and trust you and build from there. So we're really starting from scratch. I dug a little deeper to get some possible toeholds into the medical market. Michael was born in Lebanon and speaks five different languages. Currently, he works with police officers and teachers and really feels like that's a good fit for him. He's a member of the Catholic Church, but he hasn't been there very long, so he's not well known among the Catholic community. He does have a brother-in-law who's a doctor, but he said he really doesn't want to bother the brother-in-law. Michael's niece, his brother-in-law's daughter, was recently diagnosed with leukemia. The family's attention is all focused on finding a great bone marrow donor. And in fact, Michael mentioned that he was going to be out inviting people to go in and get tested. An obvious tribe for Michael is the group of doctors who come from Lebanon. There's an association for Lebanese doctors. There are only four chapters in the U.S. And fortunately, Michael lives in one of those towns. Now, Michael told me that he'd had some bad experiences in the past with Lebanese clients. However, he was willing to suspend his judgment and give this a try. Other associations might be a good fit for him. Here's the National Arab American Medical Association. And notice, like many associations, there will be a meeting this fall. Why not target doctors that speak Arabic? When I Googled that, I came up with the ZocDoc listing. ZocDoc is an organization that helps patients make appointments online. There's about 5 million physicians that belong. Notice that you can search by city and by specialty. This might be a nice prospecting tool for you to identify members of your tribe. Some advisors are very successful targeting physicians with whom they share a religion. Here's the Catholic Medical Association. No matter what religion you are, you're probably going to find an association. If you're passionate about medical missions, you can probably find an association of like-minded doctors. The easiest way to identify a focus in the medical market is on the basis of a medical specialty. That's how physicians naturally organize themselves. With Michael's niece's situation, he may find a natural affinity in working with hematologists or oncologists. Given his success with police and teachers, I looked for a possible tribe with a similar temperament, and I believe that he would be an excellent fit with physician's assistants or nurse practitioners. I'm going to point him in the direction of nurse anesthetists. Why? They have very high incomes and they're great savers, so they might wind up having more assets to manage than primary care physicians. In fact, they often generate an income higher than primary care physicians. As you notice, there's another meeting in the fall. If he were in Michigan, this would be a great networking opportunity. Morgan Stanley recognizes it. That's why they're a sponsor of this meeting. As you see, they're sponsoring meals. They might have lost an opportunity, though. I would recommend that they host some kind of educational event during breakfast and lunch. So even though Michael is new in town, he's new to the financial services industry, we've identified some great opportunities for him, working with Lebanese doctors or Arab-speaking doctors, Catholic doctors, nurse practitioners, or maybe even hospital executives. How do you choose your tribes, these groups of like-minded doctors who share a similar source of pain and congregate? Here are a few questions to help you gain clarity. First, 
Who are your current favorite clients? Do you really enjoy working with women? Well, there are organizations of women physicians, women cardiologists, women surgeons. If you enjoy working with small business owners, maybe you would enjoy working with physicians who are trying to maintain their ownership stake in their practice instead of selling their practice to the hospital or clinic. If you like working with executives, maybe you want to work with hospital administrators. Have you or a loved one been diagnosed with a medical condition? I have an advisor who was diagnosed with advanced colon cancer at a relatively early age. He works with colorectal surgeons and oncologists. Do you have any doctors in your family or social circles that you particularly enjoy? What are your passions? Can you find a group of like-minded doctors who share that passion? Be careful before you move in this direction. You want to make sure that you have a way of connecting with these kinds of physicians. Ideally, there's an association to which physicians belong. If there's not an association, you might want to think again. Do you have a natural fascination to a certain part of medicine that may even have gone back to childhood? Maybe when you were six, you told people you wanted to be a veterinarian. If you had that kind of passion, follow it. Maybe that would be a good group of doctors with whom you work. Would you like some help getting started in the medical market? Please feel welcome to sign up for a complimentary Find My Tribe session. I'll talk with you, try to unearth what some good fits for you might be. Just go to www.physicianresults.com and register for your complimentary consultation. Well, thanks again. Wishing you much success in the medical market.